$5,000, grants, two $10,000 grants. Meantime, $2,400 as an SSI, SSDI, Social Security grant. Oh my goodness, a lot of big developments. Hazard pay as a $10,000 grant, and then the rent grant, the food grant, additional grants. It's hard to keep track of all the second stimulus money that Congress wants you to have. But which of them will survive? Which of them will go out during the holidays? Which of them will be held over to January? And then, which of them can you get right now? <laughs> you know, I'm keeping track of this money. You may call it a grant. You may call it stimulus. I may call it, you know, $12 ice cream. Uh, and Sir Lloyd may say, a stimulus. But the truth of the matter is that this is all free money. This is all money for you. Congress wants you to have it. I want you to have you have it. And in the breaking news development today is that more GOP leaders say they you need it right now. So will you get it right now? And what could you get tomorrow or later today? I'm getting viewers money right now. And boy, there's breaking developments across the board on Purple. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday afternoon. You made it to the weekend. And boy, everything is developing very quickly. As Wall Street is saying, enough is enough. Get the stimulus out. And with stimulus going out, which grants, meaning free money, stimulus, will be in there? Will be $2,400 for SSI? Will be food? Will be rent? And what money will you get right now, today, or tomorrow? If you've not subscribed, please subscribe because I'm getting viewers money right now. Not five weeks from now, not five days from now, not five months from now. And that ultimately, money from Congress on the second stimulus package may go out shortly, but it's not going out today. And it's not going out tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday. And it's not going out Monday. And you need money right now. And that's why I'm fighting every minute of the day to get viewers money around the clock with no less than now seven volunteers helping you as well, using the information and the power of this channel to get you thousands of dollars, not hundreds of dollars, of free money that was given to the cities and states for you and is there to get right now because in a few weeks it's going to be gone. So please subscribe. No community is doing this for you except this one. Also, like this video. It really helps in the algorithm when you like the video. It helps appear, make it here appear higher. In this video, I will be going through all the second stimulus check items that fall under the nuance of what we would call grants. Grants is the same thing as calling a check, but it's basically a program. Because we call it a grant, it may be more than a single check. It may be more than a single dollar amount. It may be much more bold. $10,000, $50,000, two tens, EIDL, PPP, food. I'll be going through all of this and the $2,400. Then I'll be going over what would likely happen in the next few days of Congress. Finally, I'll be turning to the money you can get right now. And that's grant money. That's free money. And I'll also be covering EIDL because that was a big hit yesterday on Street and Stimulus in which I brought back how to apply for an EIDL and get approved within 24 hours. I'll do that in this video as well. Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news, as you said here today, is that grant, G-R-A-N-T, is another word for stimulus check. And there's so much grant talk that ultimately you need to understand that you will be getting grants on the second stimulus in addition to your second stimulus check. And then anyone says, I don't want to hear about grants. I just want to check. Well, guess what? You're getting stimulus. You're getting grants as well. <laughs> And the grants are going to be a lot more than your check. $10,000 is more than $1,200, or as Nancy Pelosi would like it, $500 is less than $10,000. So let's go over all this money, where it would land, how it would get approved, and what would happen. First, there's a $50,000 grant. That's the Lifeline grant. Happening during the holidays? I don't think so. It's too 
big. It's too robust. It's too vague, <laughs> to be very frank. It's sort of an unclear grant. Like, why is it $50,000? And who is it really for? Happening during the holidays? I don't see I see it happening. After the holidays? Yes. Next, EIDL grant. Happening during the holidays? I believe so. Coming back? Yes. What version of EIDL? That's an interesting question. I think there would be two EIDLs. I think there'll be one now and one after the holidays. First, I think they'll do another round of EIDL. For new applicants, I got the question overnight, can I get an, a second EIDL for the same business? No, you can't. Um, so people who never got EIDL before will get EIDL grants again, I believe. And also, uh, I think that come late January, when Javita Carranza's gone, the remainder of that $10,000 EIDL grant from March all the way up to the present, or people who apply for an EIDL grant from March to the present never got one, and there's, a lot, there's hundreds of thousands of viewers who never got theirs, that will get paid. That, and that will be $10,000. Next, Lifeline Grant. Lifeline Grant is, uh, excuse me, um, CDC Grant. CDC Grant is a $10,000 approximate grant that's for frontline workers under the second stimulus package. Happening during the holidays, I don't see that happening. I see hazard pay happening, but not that. Why? It's just very unclear, and it's very vague, and it's very slow. CDC grant means that CDC would issue a grant. You'd have to apply to them. You'd have to qualify as essential. It's not clear what, what's essential with CDC versus hazard pay essential. It's just confusing. It's, you know, what the hell is that thing? Um, and it's also vague as to how high it goes. It doesn't say in the bill how high it would go or how low it goes. Uh, something that is a, of emergency condition? No, it does not sound like an emergency item. It just sounds like a vague hot mess express unto itself. PPP, uh, which in a way is a grant because once you submit the PPP uh, for given, it's grant. It's free money. Coming another round during the holidays? Absolutely yes. I believe that'll absolutely happen. You know, tomorrow's Small Business America, Small Business Saturday and Black Friday's been a hot mess express. People are not out. People are not spending. The numbers are not expected to be good. And uh, businesses, small businesses are expected to really take a bad hit uh, tomorrow, despite the push for people to really spend on small businesses, and they need PPP. Next, rent, $2,400 for SSI, and food, and all those things. Let me get to those as well. SSI and SSDI, that $2,400, and that 20% increase lifetime, and that step up annually, part of the second stimulus package? I don't think so. I think it's going to be a standalone bill. I think it's going to be a standalone bill because it's too... It, it just it just is sort of different. <laughs> it's different. Republicans want to do it, uh, but they just you know they've been talking about fixing Social Security for a very long time, have a lot of bills, and so putting it in a stimulus package that's an emergency to go out in the next few days. I don't see that happening. I see it happening after the holidays. Um, and that's really where it belongs. Or I see it being done during the holidays, but uh, not being part of the second stimulus package, if I made that clear, hopefully. Next, uh, rent. No, you don't need a rent grant during the holidays. You need an eviction moratorium and a mortgage forbearance during the holidays. Let me explain. The mortgage forbearance and eviction moratorium are not written correctly. They're just a little bit screwy. They need to be fixed. Once they're fixed, the language, and they're extended because they're both expiring in late December, you don't need a rent grant now. That's not urgent. You need a rent grant when the eviction moratorium is about to expire. So the eviction moratorium is going to expire in March. They move it out to March. Then they need to have the rent landing in people's hands by about February. They don't have to do this right now. So they don't have to do a rent grant right now. Food grant? Yes, I think they have to do a food grant right now. So with all that, you see all the dynamics, and the one last one I almost forgot is hazard pay. I see hazard pay happening during the holidays, but not $10,000 hazard pay. But as I've been saying to all, all these videos for you, is hazard pay takes a darn long time to get in your hands physically. They have to set up the agency. They have to put the money into the hazard pay in, 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 agency, the federal agency for hazard pay. Then someone has to apply for the hazard pay, whether it's you or the employer. Then they apply. Then they send the money back. Then it's sent out. It's just a long process. I don't see money coming into people's hands from hazard pay in the next 30 days. It's too slow a process. That's why we talk about stimulus checks. It's very fast. Unemployment benefits, it's the next fastest thing, hazard pay one of the slowest instruments you can have there to get money in people's hands.
And so that's why I'm doing money right now in these videos. And I'm going to cut to that right now because I'm getting viewers ten, twenty thousand dollars because this is money right now. Here's that one money is the equivalent of all the money I was just talking about. When we're talking about $2,400 for SSI and SSDI, the equivalent of it is CARES Act 1 money. When we're talking about EIDL grants, the equivalent of it is CARES Act 1 money. All that money was given for the federal government to give to states, to give to you. And that's your money. It's stimulus. It's free money. It's not debt. It, you don't have to qualify for it because you're something this or something that. And so what's important to understand is that the money's there and states now see the urgency to spend it now because there's just weeks away from it being gone. It's really unclear the hard, fast deadline, but it looks like the deadline's around December 15th. In some cases, the states are starting to return it. In some cases, the states are starting to burn it, meaning they're trying to spend it as quickly as they can spend it. And you saw in New Mexico what happened in the last few days is that they're saying, hey, we have all this money around. It was an enormous sum of money. They said, we're just going to send money to everyone and just get it done real quickly. God bless them. Other cities actually have a massive amount of money, Honolulu and cities in Hawaii, just a massive amount of money. And they're trying to struggle to get this money out to you. So the money is at your city hall, it's at your county hall, it's at your state housing authority. And that money is there for you to get. It's for rent, then it's for food, and then it's for um, medicine. In rare occurrences, for hazard pay, and for some rare occurrences, it's for... Um, it's for uh, business grants. What's important to understand is that don't take yourself out of the equation or make the equation too complicated. So don't say, do you have rent grants for people on SSI? No, it, 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 they don't have these qualifiers for these things. They don't say, do you have rent grants for people who have green shirts with stripes and, and, uh, and spiky hair on a YouTube channel? <laughs> no, they don't make it too specific to yourself. Just make it sort of broad. Do you have rent, rent grants? So the key words to call up are, do you have rent assistance? Do you have utility assistance? Uh, because of COVID, I'm having problems making my rent. And it starts with rent and it goes to utilities and then it goes to food. Next, EIDL. EIDL is not a grant. EIDL is a debt instrument. But what's important to understand is that's free money for the first year. And ultimately, what's important to understand is that this has saved entire people's lives. And I want you to think hard and fast if the difference of having $20,000 in your bank account versus not having $20,000 in your bank account is something you can live with. Because ultimately, if you get any idea for $5,000, you don't pay back anything for the first year. And then after that, you have 30 years to pay back $5,000 using $5,000 as an example, which is like $10 a year. Why would you beat your head over over not accepting five thousand dollars? Because I don't, you know, I, if you don't need it after next year, you can return it. No early repayment penalties. It's as simple as, as that. So how does it work? When you do an EIDL, there's two things to consider. Are you applying as an individual or are you applying as a corporation? You are either declaring the income on your personal tax return as a Schedule C which is this hand, or you're applying, you're uh, declaring the income on your personal, on your corporate tax return, your corporation or your LLC. Most of the times, it, this is not the viewer of this channel. This was the viewer of this channel back in April, May. I had a lot of corporations who are EIDL applicants. I'm mostly having this type of viewer who has a Schedule C, Uber, Lyft, Grubhub. You don't have to have a 1099. You just have to have to declare the income. Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, Airbnb. So let me follow how you do the application. The application will say, who is the applicant? <laughs> if it's this one, it's your name. If it's this one, it's the official corporation registered to the Secretary of State. Uh, what is the name of the business? It's your name, corporation at the, at the Secretary of State. What is the Social Security or EIN? This one, it's a Social Security. Social Security, there's no EIN. It's a Social Security number. This one is the EIN. What's the bank account number? personal bank account, corporate bank account. And then it's going to ask, what was the gross revenue? Schedule C line one. Schedule C line, it's a, 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 a corporate taxes are line one. What's the cost of goods sold? Schedule C line two. And it's that simple. 
It's very simple to get an EIDL. 570 is a credit score. Experian Vantage 3.0. That's all they use. Uh, I, I have made videos about the humor and the laugh. At what some point, I was not laughing about it because I didn't find it funny any longer. But people would always say, a FICO? No, it's not FICO. A uh, transunion? It's not transunion. Ex Experian? Oh, Experian. So Experian 1.0? No, 3.0. Experian New uh, uh, America 5.9? No, it's Experian Vantage 3.0. Why Experian Vantage 3.0? Because that's all that they use. I just, I don't know why. <laughs> so you need to look up Experian Vantage 3.0. You can find it. I know it takes a second to find it. You should not be paying to find it. It's free to find it to do this credit score. 570 or higher. If you're a 560, do an Experian Boost. That's Experian.com forward slash Boost, B-O-O-S-T. It's free. We'll raise you 25 points, and you will be good to go. If you still are a little bit lower than 570, then do a um, call up Experian, remove adverse entries. Finally, I have a couple of viewers that, that applied for EIDL several months ago and want to do a week and, and, and were denied, and now like, you know, maybe I should do this. Uh, if do a reconsideration. It's called a reconsideration. If you were denied it based on credit, that's the easiest EIDL to win. It is so simple. I don't know why someone would not do it. All you have to do is ensure that your Experian Vantage 3.0 is over 570. Get it over 570. Take a screen grab, a picture of the score. Save it to your computer. And that same day, then put the application in and you will get approved because they're going to pull the credit score the same time you see the credit score. And they're going to say, oh, approved. Reconsideration is done by email to SBA and you'll turn it around. You'll have a, a winner right away. It's that simple. Coming up right after this is being a Mitch. I'll have big developments about what's going on with Mitch and Lindsay. <laughs> not Lohan, uh, about stimulus and what could happen during the holidays. Meantime, a return from Sirloin, perhaps. As always, stay really positive, stay focused. If you have questions about any of these things and you need assistance, EIDL assistance is available in the private. That's The private is in the pinned comment to this video. And if you need assistance with the volunteers for finding your CARES Act 1 grants, go to the community page, which is youtube.com forward slash uh, LLA forward slash community. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and save that life for more.